I am personally, uh, I mean, we saw what happened with Manipur. And there are issues of arms smuggling on the China-Myanmar border. We know the interest that China would have in destabilizing the situation in Manipur. And, uh, you know, China openly has declared its support for the junta in Manipur, no matter how the situation changes. So they are vested in, in Myanmar, I'm sorry, in Myanmar. So they are vested in Myanmar. They would want an entry into, uh, into India. They would want to upset the domestic situation in India. There are lobbies here that have made things difficult for a reconciliation to happen in Manipur. Can we really assume that China would not, for example, look for a moment of weakness of India's internal domestic policy? Uh, our Anna, politics we, to get an entry we point. must assume that life is competitive there are powers who are, are competitive yes. and the solution is to prepare prepare and prepare okay I, again i'm sorry i'm going back into history but sometimes history is a very useful uh, teacher take take today one of the crucial issues with china which is actually uh, the line of actual control and ensuring peace and tranquility there. What is it at the end of the day a function of? A crucial aspect of it is actually infrastructure. You know, when our problems with China started in the 1950s, yes. it was, it's very interesting if you go back. Where did it begin? I mean, there was, of course, a reading of China between Patel and Nehru. I've spoken about in public how Patel got it right and Nehru got it wrong. Okay. Patel basically said, we have a two-front situation. Nehru said, no, 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 you know, the, the Chinese will never do anything across the Himalayas. So uh, Nehru was trusting. Patel was applying politics 101 yeah. on a neighbor. He was just a sensible, practical, non-ideological person who made a good judgment, okay? Whereas ne Nehru made a bad judgment because he allowed his ideology to cloud the basic uh, basics of, of the uh, situation. Yeah. Ba no, basics of diplomacy, yeah, yeah. which is you have a big neighbor, you have to take your precautions. Now, our first bad experience happened on an infrastructure when they built the Xinjiang Tibet uh, highway, which went through the Indian territory of Aksai Chin. Okay. From day one, it should have been in our minds that if you need to deal with China, you must build up the infrastructure. Yet, what did we actually see? I mean, I'm now between 1957-58 till 62. Okay, infrastructure was... And A.K. Uh, okay. admitted it in Parliament. So, we've had actually an enormous neglect. I mean, I'm giving you, uh, you know, firm figures. I mean, if you look at the, in the, uh, the budget for uh, development of the infrastructure along the uh, China border, it has gone up from... Uh, below 4, 000, about 3,500 crores to about 15,000 crores today. If you look at the quality of projects, the amount of road building going there, the tunneling which is going there, every day you will read about some project. I mean, Prime Minister recently inaugurated the Sela, uh, Sela Tunnel. So my point is this. Look, we have to assume, Arnab, that competitive powers will do things. They may or may not do it. Do not assume that they will not. So I will assume that China will. And in that context, my very specific question is, are you comfortable with the agreement signed between the Congress party? The MOU signed between the Congress party and the Chinese government, between signed by Rahul Gandhi in the presence of Sonia Gandhi in 2008 on the sidelines of the Beijing Olympics. Congress party has a side agreement with the Chinese Communist Party. How safe is that? You tell me. It's not safe, if you ask me, sir. Do you agree with me? Look. It's not safe. Uh, I, it's I, not good. I will only say this. Sir. I believe today, uh, as a foreign policy advisor to the Prime Minister, yeah. that we should have a hard-headed view of our neighbors, especially of a neighbor like China, that in that sense, the Patel tradition, sure. rather than the Nehru tradition, should guide us. You know, it's not like we, nobody wants bad relations with neighbors. But good relations cannot be built up on weakness. Good relations cannot be built up on carelessness or on ideology or on misplaced ideologies that, you know... Uh, so but, are, but if you have a, if you have this approach government to government, would the BJP go and do an agreement with the Chinese Communist Party? Does it not compromise our national security somewhat? Does it... I mean... And the document, nobody knows what it is. I mean, is it, is it in the country's interest for parties in government? 
or parties in power or opposition to have these arrangements well, with external governments. Uh, you just heard me tell you when it came so, to DMK. Yes. Why I believe that transparency and openness are important. Yes. I believe that as a matter of principle. You think it's the wrong. Congress should disclose that document? I, as I said, go ask them.